crazy stories about Alexander the Great. Number one, in the Hyrcanian frontier, the Amazon queen and her soldiers visited Alexander. Struck by her presence, he offered to fulfill her request. Without hesitation, she boldly asked to bear his child. Believing they were the best of their kind, she proposed a child from them would be exceptional. If a girl, she'd raise her with Amazons. If a boy, he'd be an heir. Alexander agreed and they became lovers for 13 days until she believed she was with child. Number two, Alexander's wild drinking and fiery temper led to a tragic incident. The Macedonians embraced revelry, as seen when Alexander clashed with his father at a wedding. In Maracanda, tensions flared between Alexander and his general Cletus the Black, who criticized his adoption of Persian ways. The argument escalated until Cletus screamed out that Alexander would be nothing without his father. In a fit of rage, Alexander fatally wounded the man. The realization of his actions horrified him. This was the same Clytus who had once saved his life. Overwhelmed with grief, he abstained from eating and sleeping until his friends helped him recover from his despair. Number 3. Alexander paid a unique tribute to Achilles in Troy. He was deeply influenced by the Trojan War, with his ancestors claiming ties to Achilles. Guided by his tutor, the renowned philosopher Aristotle, who gave him Homer's Iliad, Alexander slept with the book and a dagger under his pillow. He saw himself as a new Achilles and viewed his friend Hephaestion as Patroclus. Upon reaching Troy, he visited Achilles' tomb, taking the hero's shield for his campaigns. After adorning the sarcophagus with oil and garlands, he and his friends ran a naked race around the gravestone. Number 4. In India, Alexander faced a tough challenge attacking a place called Malian Stronghold. His soldiers were scared, so he climbed up the walls alone to inspire them. He jumped inside the fort and fought fiercely. Even though he got hit by a really long arrow through his side, lung, and neck, yet he kept going with his three loyal friends. Eventually, his men broke into the city. Believing their beloved king dead, they massacred the citizens in a rage. But surprise, Alexander survived the arrow and showed his incredible strength. Number 5. After Alexander's sudden death at 33, his body stayed remarkably preserved for over a week, despite the hot Babylon summer. He likely slipped into a deep coma before dying, and his friends didn't realize he was still alive as they mourned and fought over his kingdom. Which story you think is most interesting? Tell me in comments. Subscribe Odd History for more facts and events.